I want to introduce a chord. If you look at example 8, you will see that in measure 8, we have a 6-7 chord. In the key of A, what that means is we're going to be playing an F-sharp 7 chord. And this actually comes from your 1-6-2-5 turnarounds. We're preceding what's coming up here. There's our 1, 4, a little quick change. 1, 1 altered, 4, back to the 1. There's your 6 dominant, which resolves really nicely to either a 2 7 or a 2 minor 7. It can go either way. So if you look at examples 8 and 9, they vary only in measure 9, whether it's a dominant or a minor. We don't have a jam track for this yet because we're going to actually implement a few other things on our next lesson to get some jam track stuff going. But let's go through and examine this. And this also has that Dixieland progression. Little sidebar. Sounds like a 50s progression. Now that was diatonic, meaning it came right out of the A major scale. I played a 1 major, a 6 minor, a 2 minor, and then a 5 7. What we're doing is we're changing the 2 and the, the 6 and the 2 to dominant 7th chords. Sounds like a Dixieland tune. And notice how you can chromatically come down, keep your ears open. We haven't done this on any of these tracks because I'm playing long tones, no fancy bass lines. But you want to know that. And then the question of whether they're altered or whether they're unaltered. You must keep your ears open. Now, in some cases, I've written in altered on this chart. But in other cases, it can go either way. And I'm not going to dictate which it should be. There's a 1, 6, 2, 5 move, exactly what we have on examples 8 and 9, where I can either go 1, there's my 6, and that's a 7 altered, then it could be a 2 minor, or it could have been a 2 dominant, could it be a, a 2 dominant altered, 5 altered, you see, a lot of options here, I don't have time to go through all of them. All right, now let's move to the next progression. This is... Example 10. Now we're going to have a jam track at this point, because I know it's been a while since you've heard the good old drum machine bass lines. And what we're sticking in on example 10 is the 1, 6, 1, 5, excuse me, 1, 4, 1, 5 move on the end. And this is something that could have occurred much earlier before we got into all this jazzy stuff. It's just a standard move on the last two bars. Because remember, we introduced back with example 3 how you could do the 1 chord in measure 11 and the 5 chord in measure 12. So all this does just rock you from 1, 4, and then the 5. All right, what we're going to do is listen to this track, and you'll understand what the changes are. I'll call out what the chords are as we play it. 1, Four, sharp four, one. One altered, four, sharp four, one, six, and then two, five. One, six, two, five. Now in the end, we have a one, six, two, five move. If you look at the chart, that doesn't occur until way down at example 15. So we're sticking it in a little early here, just to help you see how it fits stylistically. The simpler 1-4-1-5 move would probably fit better with the earlier progressions. So let's go ahead and play along with this. And we're just going to use our structures. We have A7, there's our 1, D7, D-sharp, diminished 7. Now you need a three-note voicing for that. Just play the root, the flat 5, the 6. Back to your 1, the 4, diminished 7, 1. And you can play that 6, that F sharp 7, either in two locations, 6 string root or 5th string root. And then we go to the 2 chord. Remember, it can be dominant 7th, or if you need a 3 note voicing for a minor 7, it's going to be 1, flat 7, flat 3. So let's just play along with the track on this one. That's an altar, but we're just playing three note structure, so you're not going to hear that. Dominant. Now this 
time we'll play it with a minor two in there. There's our alter dominant. There's our two minor, E7. A lot of variations on that. Now, uh, remember that on these charts, it's mix and match time. I know it got a little confusing when example 10 goes 1, 4, 1, 5 for measures 11 and 12, and I didn't do that with this jam track. Know that you can mix and match these, and there's nothing wrong with having a big fancy, you know, set of changes. <laughs> See, now right there I went one, four, one, five. You know, you can do it either way. The jam track's got the one, six, two, five turnaround for those last two bars. But understand, you keep your ears open, you can mix and match these. All right, we're going to move on. Next lesson, more jam tracks, more new chords. <laughs>